أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف نخبة من رجال الأعمال المتميزة اخترنا لكم اليوم مستر محمد رشيد The Managing Director and the Owner of First Stop Delivery Services Mr. Muhammad, welcome We are really glad to have you today in our show oh, Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity and you visited here Thank you We would like you to introduce yourself for our audience uh, My name is Muhammad Rashid, I am from Pakistan uh, Basically I came uh, in UAE in 2008 I started a restaurant manager job uh, mm -hmm. In a multinational, one of multinational company. By the way, when I moved to this country, I was earning more uh, in my country. But mm -hmm. I get that opportunity that really want to be abroad and I want to you know explore myself. So I started that job as a restaurant manager, and uh, time to time uh, I promoted to the different position. I reached to the operation general manager of that company. Mm -hmm. I almost I worked with that company like five years. And then I moved to another multinational company that was also a really well-known company. So I started as a delivery operation manager. I worked another four to five years with that company. So in 2018, uh, I have decided to open my own delivery service company uh, because I want to utilize my experience. And the way I see the market is growing, it was more going uh, on the online side because we are in a food business and uh, I will mention here that when I started as an operation manager uh, as a delivery, like uh, online was only like 25% of the orders. But with the time when I decided to open my company, it was almost 65% online orders, which was coming from the different online aggregators. Like I will mention Talabat, Kareem, Noon, Deliver was started at that time as well. So I feel that, you know, I should move from my job because I feel that this may be mm -hmm. In another one or this two is the years, opportunity. Yeah. my job will be not there anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. And that's exactly what happened now. If you look in the market, it's like 75 to 80% is the online demand and there is no phone order. So of course, yes. it's most probably everybody is using the aggregator, the online channels. So I opened that company in 2018. Uh, as with the nine drivers, I remember still when I oh. opened the company in 2018, first it was the nine drivers. And with the time, slowly, slowly, that time was Zamato. We able to get a contract with Zamato. We started with Zamato and slowly we made Talabat. And then we added Kareem. And uh, recently we have a contract with the Noon as well. So we are around 800 plus rider as of now in the market, like in past four years. So that was the, you know. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you to move from being an employee to have a business here in Dubai? Uh, see, there were, I will mention major two things. One was uh, my experience, what I was like 20, 25 years uh, experience of this field. I want to utilize that and I was very sure that uh, I can get it done. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, I will look at the market the way I mentioned uh, in my introduction that the market was, the way was growing the market, going in the online. So I feel this, if I started that bit business, that was the right time and I feel that, you know, I can be successful. So tell us more about the services that you provide here for, let's say, we will not say customers, we will say companies, the other companies, because you are providing basically the f service for the company. Yeah. Is that, that correct? So, yeah, you are right. We are providing the drivers. Sometimes we say some of them riders, drivers mm -hmm. and the captains. Like right now we are working with Kareem, Noon mm -hmm. and the major of our partner is Talabat and hopefully very soon we will be with the Delivero. Mm -hmm. So we provide the bikes, we provide the drivers, it's a full package to all the aggregators so we are providing each and everything. So you provide let's say from the bike to the rider to the even the immigration I have you have everything mentioned. Everything we provide here. Yeah. Uh -huh, perfect. A to Z you can say is we provide everything to Perfect. So since we are here in the UAE and the competition is really high and the competitors are really aggressive on all types of business, especially here in Dubai. Yeah. So you need to have something special that makes always the companies come back again. So what makes you special than others, especially uh, in this field? See, uh, always we talk about marketing. Yeah. Uh, the companies advertise these things. Our, you know, I will mention special for us is my team, my drivers. They always advertise. We don't advertise in any other social media that we need a driver or something. Our drivers are really in the market. They publish the companies. Mm -hmm. the, the way we treat the, our staff, 
their salaries are on time they are you know get everything benefits incentives each and everything and really they you know in the market they publish us and that's bringing us day by day up you can see is like 800 riders in the four uh, years it's mm-hmm. not a, yeah it's a big number awesome. it's a big number and this will always leads to the to the, to the big companies exactly. that will always come back to uh, your uh, company of course mr mohammed rashid give us an advice for those who are willing or for the employees let's say who are willing to invest their time and money and start up their own business see uh, i will say if you have a two mix up uae is one of the best country to invest that's for sure i'm one of the example in front of you if you have experience and you have enough money to manage that business this country is really best to invest that's yes. what i'm in front of you of course so within let's say 10 years you have started the business within 10 years you will you you have been, you have been an employee then started the business you had a goal and maybe you have achieved it maybe not but we need to know what is your next goal what is your next step see uh, it's uh, very hard you know at the starting especially to establish the company mm-hmm. that's the what was my target or goal that establish the company first and once you have a base it's very easy for make the double number like it was very hard to hit the first 100 we were mm-hmm. struggling and then make it 200 or if it's 800 i'm very confident to whether a year time we can make double these numbers hopefully so inshallah. that's uh, you know the way we are going i think hopefully we can achieve that. Of, hopefully inshallah we hope all the best for you and inshallah. also for the company mr muhammad safety and security here in the uae and especially in this field you need it so how can okay. this safety and security in the uae affect your business and affect you as also uh, a business especially man. in our business it's maybe required more than all other of business course. especially our team our riders our drivers on the road are really on high risk because motorcycle it's easy to get the accident mm. and there is a lot of deaths even going on so from our side we always provide them proper training we provide them by good bike maintenance whatever maximum we can do it but especially i will highlight uh, Dubai government recently they have taken action from RTA like RTA they, they you know they are very strict they have implement that all the riders should have the safety material like delivery box should be in the one size and in the working condition in the night uh, like 2000 below uh, bikes they have stopped so only 2019 above the bikes can be used in the market so these kind of you know the action from the government really will help us a lot of course all this uh, safety and security is because of the great vision of the rulers and the government of yeah. the UAE. We would also like to give them a big thanks for really, all the rulers. It's, uh, you know, uh, Sheikh Muhammad especially I will mention that he is a great true leader and we really mm-hmm. always inspire. Overall the UAE government, if you look at the UAE, all the, like, if you talk about Sheikh Salifa, other rest of the Sheikhs each and everything, it's really, we are thankful, we safe, we feel that we are safe in this country and uh, we can achieve our goals, we can do our business easily. So it's really big thanks to the UAE government. Of course. Government. Tell us some of the difficulties that you faced once you started your uh, business at this field. Uh, see, uh, there is always difficulties when you start the business, but it helped me a lot, my experience. Like when I mentioned to you that I started with the nine riders, only one drive, mm-hmm. nine riders. It's very hard to pull out the things with the small numbers mm. but I was committed with my team and I was committed to that business that I have to grow and I have to reach to that level yes there was a lot of difficulties uh, especially I will mention since the corona period was came so that was the only business which was booming and there was a lot of requirement shortage of the bikes that was challenging but however we were able to manage that and that's the way we are okay today. of course before we end our interview today we would like to thank you for being a part of our guests hoping all the best for you and also for all the business that you are doing here in the uae thank you mr mohammed thank you. thank you very much you are welcome thank you before we end we would like also to know how can we reach and contact okay so you can reach us through our website we have a uh, and the you know social media we are available almost in all of the social media so we can you can reach us on the- of course all the contacting numbers and the website and all the details will be shown down the screen. Thank you again, Mr. Muhammad Rashid. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين هنا حلقتنا الأسبوعية مع ضيفنا المميز. تابعونا each Friday and Saturday on your channel ABC Arabia TV channel. دمتم بخير.
وفي امان الله